everybody, Cap here again, and today I'm going to be cleaning a couple of brushes. This is my WSP Monarch, which is a silver tip badger. It's done a uh, kind of stiffened up on me, and my Samoog 1305. And this is a bore brush. Uh, so both of these have kind of uh, started not performing as good, kind of getting stiff when it's wet, and they both smell like brushes. They don't stink. So what I usually do after I uh, shave with a brush is I wring it out, wipe it off on a towel, take a comb, and uh, brush through it, and then hang it up. And I keep doing this. Every once in a while, I'll use this. It's mane and tail, and it's deep moisturizing shampoo. It's actually four horses. Uh, it's, it's pretty much a shampoo, uh, kind of breaks down stuff. It doesn't do it as good as other stuff. Some people use, um, you can use Dawn. Uh, you can use regular shampoo. Uh, just anything will help. But to, for today's purposes, is breaking down all that soap and oil, face oil that's got down in here. And what helps with that is either apple cider vinegar or just white vinegar. And I usually use just white vinegar and uh, use a bowl like this. And uh, I use probably um, one to five ratio of water. One thing, uh, one thing you don't want to do is use very, very hot water. No boiling water. These, these brushes are held in by a knot. And uh, if you put too hot of water in there, you can break that that uh, glue down that's holding it, that epoxy, and your knot will come out, essentially. So what I'm going to do is just stick both of these in here, and then I'm going to readjust my camera to where you're looking down at it, and then I'll show you what I do after that. All I'm doing is just sticking them in the vinegar slash water, letting them soak. So both of these have been sitting in here. For about a couple of minutes i've been just kind of agitating them moving them around and what i want to do is i'm going to take one out just kind of work all the way deep down in work that vinegar And there's also um, a way that you can uh, just take the vinegar, put it straight on the knot, and work it in there. I kind of like letting it sit, you know, for a couple minutes. Now we're going to just wash them off. And then, I like, uh, get them back in water. And what I do is I take each one, and I do it just like I'm doing, I'm going to shave with it. Put an almond size, um, uh, little squirt. Of uh, the shampoo, you can use conditioner, just any type of conditioner. You can also use uh, uh, the Dawn soap, like I said, or a uh, or like a a hand soap. Just something to clean. Just anything to clean it off. And I'm just building a lather with it. And if you can get this main and soap, I mean it's basically built 
tough four hairs and it does condition it. But the main thing uh, we used today was the vinegar. The vinegar breaks it down. Uh, I'd say do, do the vinegar to your brushes once a year. Uh, I'm not sure uh, how often I do the shampoo. I'd say I shampoo my brushes about every three months. But just shampooing it doesn't uh, doesn't break down all the oils and everything that vinegar does. Main thing I try to do is get it deep down in there, deep cleaning. All right, let's wash them off. Clean both of them. I just lightly run a comb. This is the thicker side of the comb. You can use uh, any comb. Got my holy black comb here. And uh, it doesn't actually matter if you leave them sitting up or leave them uh, hanging. Both these brushes right here have been workhorses. Through and through. Well, that's it. That's how I clean my brushes. And uh, I'll say thank y'all for watching and hope y'all have a wonderful day.